How's it going, Chip Tribe? It's me, Chips, back with another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we uh, escaped the Black Bird uh, and King Dalton, who stole our ship, and we stole it back. It was a whole big thing. It was great. And now, we are, uh, we're going to get our ship back, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, it's right here. Uh, I guess I should, like, check up on these people. See what they got. It is survive. Okay, that guy says the same thing. There's a shop somewhere. Which I might want to stock up on some stuff. You buy? Yes. Um, okay, so these we don't have any of. And I definitely want some. Because we don't have Chrono anymore. <clears throat> and he was the one with the rays. Uh, I'm also going to buy some more shelters. Just because you can never... You know, I'm going to buy... Uh, ten. Ten more. We got the money. Alright, and that's it. Okay. So there's nothing else here? Well, I guess we can go here. The Village Commons. See if anyone here's got anything to say. Whoa! I glimpsed a figure of a man on the North Cape. I hope he uh, was up to no ill. Why are you talking like that? Up to no ill? What? Ah, it's good to see smiles of hope! This despair is quite contagious, I fear. Oh, uh, no. I want to talk to that dude, but... The sun rises on the morrow. But the sun ever rises on the morrow. There's little we can do but live for today. And trust that other days will follow. My god, a poet over there. Such a mysterious little tree. Perhaps somebody will help us uh, paint the land green again. Huh. Okay. Uh, Sunstone, we have heard about that. Kid, kid, kid. Oh. Okay, whatever. The villagers are slowly coming around as well. They simply need time to accept their fate. We will all have to start again from scratch, and that is not something that people are are won't are want to concede. Okay, whatever. These guys are freaking. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, I can't go up there. Okay. Whoa, we are. Glitching out in that cat there. Okay. So, um, the North Cape? There's someone who means ill up there? Well, let's go see. Is it this? North Cape! Is it Magus? See, he's a pretty ill-meaning dude. Oh. Oh, and it was! So it is you! Magus! Behold! All that rests at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of Zeal and all of the dreams and ambitions of its people. I lived there once, but I was another person then. Yo, Magus backstory? What's this? A dimensional vortex? I'm glad I came here. We were right then. The power is beyond human control. Oh, we are. We'll be dragged into the rift. Shala. These guys all have like the same voice. No, Janice, stay away. But, yo, is Janice the kid with the cat? Hold on. Hold on. It's a... A time gate? So are they all... No! Oh! Because we met them at different points in time. Shala! Did we meet Janice before? I don't think so. Janice! So this is not a backstory. This is what happened after we peaced out, I think. Yeah! Yeah! What is this place? So he's at the end. We met the other two. Hello? Oh, we might have met this guy. There's no one here. Is this the end of time? Was he like the dude there? Oh. Janice, my man. 
You. You were that boy. I lived only for the thought of slaying Lavos. Ever since his rift in time's fabrics uh, stranded me in the Middle Ages. And just as I had summoned him to my castle, you arrived to interfere. To think I would be drawn through yet another portal, only to find myself returned to this age. Ironic, is it not? Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the queen that I was an oracle of no small power. And so, again, oh, and so again I worked to draw the beast out. But no history book could have prepared me for what ensued. Unimaginable power is, uh, is the power of Lavos. Before him, all are as leaves cast to the bitter winds that howl about death's back winds. Stay this course, and your fate will be the same as that fool Kronos. You dare dishonor him? Play the fire and you get burned. Oh, play with fire and you get burned. A lesson better learned sooner than later. The weak go quickly to their graves. Stay thy tongue, Magus. You wish to fight me? Okay. So, I got a tip about this in the comments that said, uh, pretty soon someone is going to ask, do you want to fight? They recommended that I say no. So, of course, I'm saying yes, and we're about to get bodied. Stand back! Oh, one-on-one? -on -one? Okay. Never did I imagine we would settle our score in this era. Come, let us finish this charade. Okay. Oh, the crit! Let's go. Yo! I hope they weren't like, yo, you shouldn't fight him because the story is better if you uh, don't. I thought it was because I was going to get bodied. So, uh, you know what, actually? You know what? I'm going to call an audible. I'm going to call an audible. And I'm not going to fight him. I have changed my mind. I thought they were saying don't fight him because he's freaking hard, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm starting to suspect that there was another reason. But I do want to go initiate that cutscene again. Maybe if we don't fight him, he'll be like, Wow, you choosing not to fight me has really given me a change for thought. We'll see. Alright, yes. So I did already read this. I am Janice. Hello. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. And you guys can clarify in the comments if you were like, no, no, you can just fight him, he's just hard. Then I'll do it. But, uh, you know. It didn't seem that bad. Dude, but Janice is Magus? I guess, you know, they rhyme. It makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, we're getting sucked into different parts of time. I could just cut this out, but too late for that. Too late for that. Yeah, and here they all are. Yeah, you're at the end. Oh! That little sparkly thing in the well just fell with him. I'm glad I watched that again. Because maybe now we can do something. Is that Chrono's pendant? You, you were that boy. Yes, I want to slay Lavos, but he is super strong. We're going to kill him eventually, though. All right, and you better burn. Go to their graves. Stay thy tongue, Magus. You wish to fight me? No. Taking your life will not restore Chrono or uh, Cyrus theirs. Ah! Uh... Oh, and he's just shown there? Okay. Wait. I'll accompany you. 
Are you mad? I said the fool was dead. I did not say his death could not be undone. Of what do you speak? Gaspar, the guru of time, knows the way to restore those uh, streams of time that have been diverted from their proper courses. No way! I am so glad. I am so glad. Um, okay. Well, Luca's been here a while. Yo! Thank you guys so freaking much for telling me to do that. Oh my god. Moonfall Scythe, Doom Helm, Status Immunity, Shala's Amulet, because he's Janus. I could have named him Janus, but eh, whatever. My dude, look at him. All right. Oh my god. All right, to the end of time we go. What's that? Uh oh. That's. The Blackbird? Or Lavos? I don't know. I don't know. This ain't looking too good. What? What is this? What is that? What is that? It's like it's call- oh, oh, that's Marl. It's like it's calling us. <laughs> Death's Fairy? Has it come for us? Death's Fairy, what is that? The Ocean Palace? But, no! Uh-oh! Look at that screen! It looks like something's happening. What? A vortex has appeared, but why? Is Lavos' hand in this as well? What's happening to our world? Okay, well, we got a... End of time. That's where I want to go first. Um, And then we'll check that out. Because, you know, we got time travel, so... Get off. Yeah. We got time travel, so we don't really have to worry about... Uh... What? I can't save? Oh, I walked past it. Look at him on the same screen. Oh my god. So is this is this Chronos Pendant? HP and M Oh no. Oh this is the one. Oh, that's where you go to when Lavo kills it Lavos kills everyone. We don't want that. So are you? Oh where's that sprightly young man? I see. How terrible. There's little I can do for you, but let him let me honor him with a song. I call it Memories of Chrono. Uh, were there anything more I could do? I would, but I fear I can be of little aid. We're looking for the... Oh, th that's Marl. I thought that was Luke for a second. We're looking for the Guru of Time. The Guru of Time, you say? I know of him. But what business do you have with the Guru of Time? We heard he knows a way to bring Chrono back. Ah, yes. To break death's hold over one you hold dear still. You are not the first to wish such a thing, nor will you be the last. Chrono must be happy indeed, knowing such, a, such dear friends as you. 
Are Dude, you are clearly the guru of time. Let's hold over you. Okay. Are you not? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Take this with you. What is this? An egg of some beast? That is the Chrono Trigger. A time egg. Should you wish to try and hatch it, the one who uh, uh, crafted your wings of time can tell you the way. But know that it uh, may not necessarily hatch the results you, which you desire. The Chrono Trigger represents potential. Results require action. As long as you keep Chrono in your hearts and pursue what you seek, the results should follow. But I can make no guarantees. I see it now. It's you, isn't it? Wait, then. Does that mean you're Gaspar, the guru of time? <laughs> yes, I believe that is what they used to call me. But that was long, long ago. We got the Chrono Trigger. My god. Okay. So, I want to get back on our thing. So the one who made the epoch for us has got to be the one in the future. I'm pretty sure. Away, epoch! I'm pretty sure. I forget where he is. He's in one of these buildings, which I get is not super... Oh! I can just quickly... Keeper's Dome? I don't think so. Um. Oh, maybe this is it. Well, this is here. We got a magic capsule that I either didn't grab or never came here before. This peak harbor is a power capable of restoring the slain of life. But the power to re reverse death is not easily invoked. The need must be great, and the person's existence of utmost importance. And what's more, you'll need a double, a doll identical of that person in every detail. Then, and only then, will the power uh, deign to hatch the egg. A doppel doll! That would do nicely. The magician. Nordstein Becker could whip up one in the wink of an eye. If only he were here. Uh, you're not... You've not heard of him, you say? Well, he loves festivals. Find a fair. Oh my god. This... Dude. This is awesome. We're just gonna, like, go around to every time period. The fair is the very beginning of the game. As you could tell, as I realized it mid-sentence. All right, Epoch. Uh, no, no, no. So, nah, present. That's where we want to go. Oh. Huh. Well, that's not good. Um, where is the fair? The fair is... I don't remember. This? This is the fair. Okay. I'm gonna do this first and then deal with that big scary castle. Because if we can get Chrono back... Are you... The 1000th anniversary of the kingdom's founding... Okay. He's gotta be one of these tents. A magician. Are you a magician? There's a race, right? Dude. This is... Throwbacks to the beginning of the game. The Tent of Horrors. I don't think there was a magician in there. Maybe there was. I'm looking for a magician. Are you a magician? 
50 bucks? That's like nothing now. Fair. Have you heard the gossip? Yes. Wait, I want... What's the gossip? The king is tearing his daughter... Okay. Or tearing his hair over his tomboy daughter. Just... Okay. Yeah, she's right there. Are you a wizard? Where is this wizard? I'm sure I... Your kitty ran away? I found a kitty a while ago. Oh, I found the kitty. Oh. I lost your cat. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Luca's bipedal robot Gato? Okay, yeah, we did this. Where is this magician? I feel like we probably spoke to him in the beginning and everyone was like, mm, I know who this is and I just didn't realize. Yo, shout outs to Magus for not walking. Okay, this is freaking silver points, dude. Shut up. Is he up here? This was the first portal we opened up. Where is my man? Magician. Yeah, okay, we can dance along. Prehistoric dance. I wonder if we bring Ayla here. She's just like, I got this. Okay, where is this guy? I am at the festival. I'm gonna just talk to everyone. I talked to the... Okay, I don't have enough points, I know. Was he in the tent? Is it this guy? Steel Runner, okay. Tent of Horrors. I mean, this sounds like it could be... Are you... Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors! The spine-tingling show is about to start! So, you want a doppel doll of Chrono? Normally, I wouldn't give another person's doll, but today I'll make an exception of 40 silver points. I'll give you the doll even if you uh, lose the game, but it'll cost you. The longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Okay. Don't have enough. I have to get 40 points to... Oh my god. No. No. Okay, well we're at like... How do I do this? Can I just do this 40 times? Oh my god. Huh? Huh? I need 40 points to do this? Are there are faster ways? Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing this 40 times. Uh, I'm going to end off. We're at a good stopping point. So I'm going to end off this episode right here. If you guys did enjoy, as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, there's not going to be an episode tomorrow because one, it's Christmas. I am recording on Christmas. And two, uh, there's a huge storm coming where I live tonight and we'll probably lose power. So I can't. Uh, so 2020, everyone. But uh, probably the day after that or depending on power shenanigans i don't know when i'll be back uh let me know if there's a better way to get silver points because i don't want to do that freaking bell thing for 20 minutes but uh next time we are getting that doll and we are getting chrono back i'm assuming there's more we have to do uh and then there's also the freaking the fact that the freaking ocean palace the deaths whatever is showing up we still got a lot left in this game i have a feeling so I will see you guys in the next episode, but until then, don't forget to take it easy.